What up? All right. Um, so uh, we got episode four, season two of the Ricky Gervais Show. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Season four, episode two. Yeah. Okay. This is insects. 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 Yeah, man. I guess you know insects are necessary, but um, some insects are necessary. Yeah. No. Some insects. I I heard. I heard. I, I don't know if it's an insect or not, but they did find the first thousand leg centipede, which makes it a millipede. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's an insect though, but I mean, should be a long that's, insect. That's interesting. Is a spider an insect or is it is that like an arachnid or something? I think it's in both of those in a way. No. Uh, Mm. Arachnophobia well, was probably one of the scariest movies I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to me, that was <laughs> full of spiders. <laughs> like Spider oh, Island or some shit. Jesus, shits. man. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. All right, man. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. For the past few years, Ricky Gervais. <laughs> For the past few years, Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant, and Carl Pilkington have been meeting regularly for a series of pointless know conversations. That don't work. Same thing this in is one of them. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Ricky Gervais Show with me, Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant. Hello. And the little round headed buffoon that is Carl Pilkington. All right. We've been away filming in a sweltering London. We've had a heat wave here in the capital city, haven't we, Carl? It's been hot, right? Been up to 100 degrees, record-breaking temperatures. Yeah. yeah. What have you been doing, though? Getting to see the place, having loads of walks. Not I like to have walks. You know, watching what <laughs> like people Like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. when, when he jumps off the couch and starts exactly. scratching against the door, <laughs> Suzanne thinks it's time. <laughs> It's, it's just good thinking time, though, isn't it? Uh, as well, having a walk. You've got no other clutter going on around you. And right. you just think about a lot of stuff. And, you know, like, like say, with the weather being hot and stuff, a lot of insects knocking about. Right. So I've just been watching them. <laughs> so, so while we've been filming, you've been watching insects? Yeah, just seeing, cos everybody knows insects are out there, but no-one's keeping an eye on them. <laughs> Why, what are they up to? What are you worried about? Loads, loads, Steve, you wouldn't be laughing like that if you'd, if you'd watch them, cos they do some weird stuff and that, <laughs> yeah. is what I mean. What yeah. sort of stuff? Any examples? Uh, I saw a bee have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> what? You saw a bee have a heart attack? Yeah. How were you sure it was a heart attack? Because what happened? I'd, I'd been. Did it clutch its chest with all six legs? No, I'd were there some other little bee paramedics? No, no. I'd, I'd just been out in the park anyway, just looking at you know uh, caterpillars knocking about, uh, butterflies and stuff. So I was sort of. So, like, uh, so when Suzanne goes to work, she goes, Carl, don't you waste the day. I want you to do some constructive <laughs> stuff. But but the thing is, so I'd been in the park and I was aware of the insects that are around us more than like most of the time. And I come out of the park. Just crossing like a, a sort of a busy road and what have you, and I saw this bee to the right of me, sort of in the air, and it was a big one, and I was a bit like, oh, let's watch that, and um, <laughs> it just fell, it fell from the air in front of me, and it was it... on the pavement. I thought, oh, what's going on here? And I, I, I looked at it for a bit, and it was really still. Gave it a little kick, just to <laughs> see if there was any movement. Nothing. Stone <laughs> sort of, what's the saying? Stone cold dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stone cold be dead. So yeah, uh, that, that I like the fact that this bee suddenly saw Carl and had a heart attack. Yeah, it had never seen anything <laughs> that round before. Yeah. It just thought it, it had approached him because he thought it was a sunflower. <laughs> My God, it's a giant walking orange. Every dream has come true. <laughs> no, but it just summed up life for me. I thought uh, that, that's that's like us, isn't it? At the end of the day, they have heart attacks, stress. Mm. Are you putting them to stress, do you? Well, look, it's in London, isn't it? You know, everything has stresses from living here. And they are bald, aren't they? They've got fur all over, but they lose the... I'm always overweight. 
<laughs> it was a fat, bald me. <laughs> so what did you, you? It fell to the floor, and you you instantly you just kicked it. You didn't attempt no, to revive it. No, I waited a second it. and just looked at it to see um. if there was any you know leg movement or wing, and there was nothing. And then when I sort of kicked it, it was sort of hard. It had hardened already. It's just <laughs> rigor mortis had set in. Did it put you in a bad mood for the day? Because I know things like that can just send you over the edge for the day. Uh, death and that uh, does a bit. Suzanne doesn't like me talking about death. What riveting conversations do you come up with? No, just things like uh, one of our mates has had a baby recently and I just was saying, oh, when that's sort of our age, we'll nearly be dead. Think of that. It's <laughs> yeah. the first thing he says is a new life brought into the world. <laughs> I know. Well, when he's our age, we'll be dead. <laughs> yeah. No, it's Maybe weird. they'll let you do the speech. It's true. <laughs> well, yeah, I've been watching loads of stuff. I've been watching Ants. You mentioned Ants. Uh, I've had a lot of moths in the house. They're sort of sad. I mean, you say it like it was a garden party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, but, but all I'm saying is I look at more about what it's it like. Because like. if you watch something long enough, is what I'm saying, you can see that it's it's a bit clueless. It's the same way about ants or, you know, they're hard workers and all that. I watch one, it's going back and forth all the time. They go one way and then they stop and go the other way. They try to look busy in front of the mates. But if you watch one... <laughs> if you watch one long enough, it's back and forwards and it's like it's done nothing there. I'm going to carry this twig back and forth until I can knock off it for. There's a lot of that going on. Is there? Because uh, there's not... There's none of that going on. There is. <laughs> no, like I say, the moth. Depressing little sort of thing. <laughs> Why is it depressing? It hasn't got eyes, does it? You just what? look at it and it doesn't know what's going on. I just don't... Th I think if you, you haven't got eyes, eyes, you shouldn't have wings. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's a rule. True. If we can put that into practice, please. <laughs> That's a great rule. That's a fantastic rule, isn't it? Yeah. If you haven't got eyes, you shouldn't have wings. <laughs> That's true. Ah! Why you got wings? If you ain't got no eyes, you can't I just was reading flying. something about an octopus. That's uh, that's like a killer octopus. Yeah. And it annoyed me that this was knocking about now. Because <laughs> I didn't know, I thought they were quite friendly. <laughs> Whenever you see them in cartoons and that, they're always happy, aren't they? And then suddenly, like, they've, they've sort of brought the whole sort of... Uh, creature down. Do you know what I mean? Uh, no. What do you mean? Well, just, just, you know, when when you see them in films, they're, they're running about and that, and everybody likes an octopus. <laughs> but this one, that's on. Like it, it, was, it was your fault, really, because you told me about that frog that's going about killing people. No, I didn't uh, say that. Uh, so I looked it up on the internet at like other creatures and stuff, Dot and com. there's uh, yeah. there's uh, some octopus that's in the sea. Mm. Uh, and what it does, you, you don't even have to, like, threaten it. It just spits in the water. And if that stuff gets on you, does you in. <laughs> Again, I'm... I, mm. So, in a way, it's good knowledge, because... <laughs> Shit. I mean, I don't go in the sea anyway, because it's full of stuff like that. But that's just reassured me that I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> if they're knocking about, just gauzing everywhere, <laughs> uh, you don't even have to be near one. You don't even know if it's been spitting and stuff. It can kill you. It just seems unfair. I haven't armed it. I haven't gone near it. Why is it getting annoyed with me? Doesn't seem right. So that's where a knowledge has, has not helped that octopus out. Because now, when you eat them, I just think, yeah, have another one. Do you know what I mean? Get rid of them. So I don't want to worry. Another conversation with himself. Another conversation with himself. Like, don't get the water. Too many danger, too much danger shit. Okay, Carl, I'm just gonna throw an animal at you. Yeah, Tell me how weird it is. Yeah, what see. bits annoy you? How you change it? Okay. A crab. Mm. I would have changed it. Yeah. Does it annoy you? Do you think it's weird? Mm. Um, yeah. they are weird. <laughs> but they're at that size where they can get away with it. <laughs> 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 yeah, it suits them. Okay. Um, good. Would it, would it change anything? Uh, um, in a way, you know what you're saying about things not working. He can't walk forwards. So uh, why hasn't something happened? Why haven't they said, you know what, these arms are too clumsy. <laughs> we need to have them so they can slot away easier, and we can pull them out when we need them. So they're clumping <laughs> around with them because they that do struggle. Sense. You see them struggling with their arms. Yeah, they're still here. They're still doing that. They're still designed that way. What's the weirdest animal? So you think the octopus is the weirdest animal on Earth? Yeah. Why is it any weirder than a dog? It because it couldn't be further away from yeah. us. A dog <laughs> has got human eyes. 
If, if a jelly, honestly, if a jellyfish had a pair of eyes like ours, I probably wouldn't worry about him that much. But like uh, I said to you, it's that way that they haven't got eyes. <laughs> they're floating about. I can handle some fish. They look, they look like they've got eyes. You can make eye-to-eye -eye contact with them. <laughs> what a jellyfish, making? what are you looking at? Uh, it's a snidey thing, like I've said to you. <laughs> You can see see a lot in eyes. Do you know what I mean? They say don't trust him. Why? Uh, it's his eyes. Right, Jellyfish haven't yeah. even got any, and I don't trust them. <laughs> in terms of um, design and everything, and uh, if you lined everything up, say if I'd come uh, from another planet and everything was lined up in a row, and they said, right, we're going to give you a crash course in what's knocking about on this planet. Yeah. And you go, right, go on then. And you go, this is man. Here's a woman. Here's a dog. Here's a cat. Here's an octopus, here's a... I go, hang on a minute, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Say if, if everything was at the same size as us, what would be the best thing to be? Damn. Yeah. Say, like, wow. a tarantula. Yeah. And a tiger. <laughs> what would happen there? To a, a 15 stone tiger versus a 15 stone tarantula. Yeah. Well, I'd imagine the 15 stone tarantula. Right, so <laughs> it's just weird, that, isn't it? It's a good job that they're small, yet things are getting bigger because we're messing with the world. But it's a ridiculous thing to say, isn't it? Because what would it eat? 15 stone. The biggest you'll find is, like, a foot-long beetle or something. Oh, it's big, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, and that's about as big as they get. He's going to I wouldn't worry that. about it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Again? Based on nothing, he queries it's not, you. But it's like fish, isn't it? How you say about a goldfish. Yeah. That thing about a woman who went on holiday and mm. stuck it in a bath. Mm. She came back, it was seven foot. Right, that didn't happen. What? No, that's a well known thing about goldfish. No, it's goldfish. not a well known Where's thing. The, what? I'm saying <laughs> well why, because thing. a fish would only grow to its surroundings anyway. So. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You have to put it in a bigger tank. Yeah, in a bath. No, a seven foot fish in a bath, <laughs> it just fit the bath exactly, did it? When she got back off holiday. Don't talk shit. It's what well was it known. eating? What was it eating? <laughs> How long was she gone for? <laughs> Two million years? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she went to Mars and back. Ted, you're not going to believe this. Come up here. Well, how many fish do you see that have naturally died? It's always been caught by a man or a shark's at it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't just see dead fish washed up, do you? Well, most things that don't die of old age. Uh, yeah, that's weird, though, isn't it? Well, no, because it's a... You know, it's a jungle out there. No, worse than the sea. The sea is, like, full of... Uh, you've got an enemy round every rock. <laughs> <laughs> I love it! I love it! I love it. It's like a wall into crabs. Yeah, exactly. And young squid. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's, it's like the policeman that comes into your school. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Carl, have you ever seen the programme Inside the Actors' Studio? Uh, no. James Lipton interviews famous actors and gets world, uh, words of advice about, uh, you know, how they work and how they act. But at the end, he always asks a series of questions, which is based on a French series of questions that a guy called Bruno Pivot used to, uh, to give people when he interviewed them. So I'm going to ask you some of these questions. just interesting to see what your response is. And, you know, answer them quickly. You don't have to think about them too much. <clears throat> what is your favourite curse word? Uh. I don't think I've got one. Yeah, what? Uh, knobhead. <laughs> that <laughs> sums knobhead. everything up, and I think it's... But you wouldn't call your nan a knobhead, would you? What would you call a nan? Uh, well, well knobhead's all right, innit? Cos she'll, she'll, she sort of gets it. It's one of them things that everybody understands, but it's not too offensive. <laughs> right. What a knobhead. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do, though, if you were swimming, right? It was a nice little thing, you were on holiday, right? And there's this octopus there, and you're going around, right? And, it, and you just see it start spitting at you, poison. What yeah, would you say well, to it? Well, it's too late then, isn't it? And I'd kick it. <laughs> and I'd say, knobhead. <laughs> I would... Uh, but what's the point? What's the point in getting annoyed now? Cos it's done its, it's done its stuff, hasn't it? <laughs> I don't know you'd kick it and call it a knobhead <laughs> under the water. What is this octopus thinking? Oh, God! Oh, I'd go, you fucking eight-legged shit. I'm not you, bothered. I'm not bothered. <laughs> I don't know what you're you saying. fucking, fucking cunt no. of a mollusk. I'm just spit at you again. It's not bothered. You slimy little fucking boneless uh, wanker. This is why... <laughs> Are you still good. talking to the octopus? <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> <far off. laughs> Oh, I don't believe it.
me, so I'm gonna write it down the run. That jingle, of course, signifies another reading from Carl Pilkington's diary. <laughs> we went to the park and had a brew. Suzanne read the paper while I played with a ladybird. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like a child, isn't it? It is like what a child would do. <laughs> Suzanne read the paper while I played with a ladybird. <laughs> His only friend is a beetle. <laughs> it climbed up my arm. It struggled on me hairs. This is in detail, then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it kept stopping every now and then and was rubbing its head with its right arm. It did it about four times and always used its right arm. It rested for about five minutes, then flew off. Sunday. Had a bit of a to do <laughs> with Suzanne because she wanted a lion today. I ate this. Once you're awake, you should get up. I got up and put the radio on really loud. She eventually got up. I told her insects don't have lions, so we shouldn't. <laughs> Why are you obsessed I with mean, insects? You must be fucking unbearable to live with. <laughs> you must be a nightmare. No, I've just started, because I've watched insects a lot, I don't want to keep going on about them because we're a bit uh. insect heavy. But at the end of the day, if we if we copied insects, we wouldn't go far wrong. I don't know what you mean, though. Me either. <laughs> One minute you're saying they're great, then the next minute you'll slag them off. Uh, yeah, I'll slag some of them off if I don't know what they're doing, but because I've studied them a bit longer... I just think they, they do. You haven't right. studied them. He, he thinks he's like Darwin. <laughs> you, but you just slagged them off and go. No, you think people, the insects are doing stuff? They're not. Yeah, it goes there, then it goes back again. The ant was. The ant was messing about, but only that one. The others were carrying stuff. That's what I'm saying. The snidey <laughs> ones in everything, in every everything in the world, you get a hierarchy. <laughs> oh, long words. Ooh. Some new sea thing has been found. <laughs> That's the headlines on the news. <laughs> it wasn't found by sea experts, it was found on eBay. Someone was selling it for a fiver. I don't see the point in buying something that you don't know what it is. What do you I... mean? What do you mean? It was... It was. Someone's found some sort of <laughs> shell with a thing living in it. Right. Um, they thought, oh, I've never seen one of these before, I can flog it on eBay. Someone bought it and then wanted to look after it, went to some sea expert and they said, oh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's, that's, that's the story. It's just weird how stuff's being found on eBay. No, it wasn't found on eBay, though, was it? Yeah, but that's where the specialist people sort of picked up on it. It's just weird that... I mean, I, all, all I was saying is I wouldn't want one. If you don't know how to... If it's a new creature, you don't know what, what makes it happy. When you get a kitten, <laughs> you go, stroke its head, loves it. Right? And you can do that knowing that it's liking it. If I had a little seashell and you go, does it sit in water? I don't know. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You could end up doing more damage. So that's why I wouldn't want it. It's nice to have rules, isn't it? It's nice to know what you're doing with something. Well, as you write in the diary, uh, it's like if an alien landed and wanted to live uh, with you. Uh, as much fun as it might sound, it wouldn't be long before you got annoyed with it because it wouldn't eat the food you gave it. That's what I'm saying, but I couldn't have a go at it because it might not like pasta. <laughs> it might not. <laughs> Everyone likes pasta. Wow. Woke up to some interesting news. It's good when this happens, because it sets me up for the day ahead. If it's miserable news, it affects my day. It said on the news that they have found two new flies. <laughs> yeah, there what? are more insects! What have you done? Is that all you've done this summer? Bong. Just... <laughs> Trouble in the Middle East. Bong. Two new flies found. Ladybird climbs up uh. arm. <laughs> they were found in the UK, <laughs> and they were found close to each other. Maybe this happened because they were different than the other flies and weren't expected to hang about together, so that's why they knocked about with each other. That would happen. <laughs> what do you mean? There's two new flies. <laughs> How do you mean? Does it mean there are two new flies that are a different species? species? Yeah, two new species, and they found them close to each other, right? Yeah, but and they didn't mean there was one of each. No. Yeah, yeah, they did. They found two different <laughs> ones. No. No, they have. Seriously, I know that. That's right. That's a fact. So you've got, like, I don't know the names of them. They give them odd names, don't they? <laughs> yeah. say, call it A and Fly B. Right? Yeah. Fly A, I don't know. Uh, was say that's no. orange. <laughs> <laughs> this is just... B. Fly B, yeah. No, this is painful. But, no, but I'm just painful. making it easier uh, Fly B wears okay. a little hat. He's got a little hat. Right, yeah, uh, fine. Now, they found the orange one. I went, look at this over there. Oh, is it weird. shit? And they've gone, oh, that's a new species. So. Log it, whatever. And then the other one went, oh, whoa, 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 keep your pen handy. Look at this one, it's got a hat on. <laughs> so then they, they found them both within the same distance, 
I don't know what that sentence means. Keep going, keep going, keep going. They, they, found, let him both, finish. they I, found him both within the same both, distance. But without interrupting him, let him finish this, no, this point. Let me just make one thing clear. Carl Pilkin just said, they found them both within the same distance. <laughs> They're on Don't know what it means, but go on, let him finish this, this point. So, so what I mean is... They weren't knocking mm. about with other normal houseflies because they were probably sort of going, oh, he's a bit weird. Leave it. <laughs> <laughs> Yet, because the other one was also odd, they're, not, they're hanging about with each other. <laughs> Don't you understand that? Why is that such an odd concept? Because <laughs> you, think, you think of it as, like, two little um, uh, new kids in school. Yeah. They, they find out they're both new and they, they've got so many yeah, they're, both, they're both goths, so yeah. they're both hanging out together. Yeah. <laughs> and this was on the news, was it? Yeah, just on the radio, yeah. Uh, I know if I looked into that story, it would be 90% wrong. A bit tired today, because didn't get to sleep Probably. as early as I wanted due to a moth getting in the bedroom. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> me! I got it in a glass and looked at it for a bit and then let it go because Suzanne wanted to go to sleep. Looked up some interesting news. Some people dug up an old body in Ireland. Turns out it's well old and was here when dinosaurs were here. The really weird bit is it had hair gel in its hair. Right, what is it? <laughs> Fella. Well, no, it wasn't around when dinosaurs were here then. Just a bit after. Right, fine. A lot after, yeah, go on. It's not the age bit, that's amazing. It's the fact of, there's a fella, won't have even had <sighs> shoes on his feet. Right. And yet he was worried about his hairstyle. Right, well, that's definitely not true <laughs> either. There was a man on the radio doing poetry, says Carl in his diary. I thought I'd have a go at doing a poem about <sighs> today. <clears throat> not really. He had, Steve, I'm, I'm a little bit queasy. He hasn't really written a poem. He's written a, a small poem. <laughs> no, he hasn't really. Yes. <laughs> if moths had eyes... <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> <laughs> Let me read the poem, OK? <laughs> oh, oh, shit. He wouldn't interrupt T.S. Eliot. <laughs> OK, 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 OK. Oh, OK. If moths had eyes, uh, would they uh, be happier? How do they know they're not dead? <laughs> Cavemen hunting for food, but not before they style the hair on their head. <laughs> what would last longer in dinosaur times? A blind man didn't stand a chance. Not with all them rocks about. I'd rather be a blind moth. Right. It may be the greatest poem <laughs> ever written. Is there a creative can we have, for that? Can we have Carl read that? By Sorry, means, yes. just, uh, no, just, just you read it as you would <laughs> like to. So this is, uh, imagine this, right, OK? This is going out all over the world. Uh, now, um, Carl Pilton, a new poet <laughs> from Manchester, now living in uh, London, England, would like to read a <laughs> poem. If moths had eyes, would they be up here? <laughs> How do they know they're not dead? <laughs> Cavemen hunting for food but not before they style the air on their head. <laughs> what would last longer in dinosaur times? A blind man didn't stand a chance. Not with all them rocks about. I'd rather be a blind moth. <laughs> <laughs> he said it as though the last bit was going to rhyme. He said it like it was going to rhyme. Oh, God. <laughs> I it's think, amazing, I think, it's I, amazing. I, I, think feels, I think he feels as though the final line, I'd rather be a blind moth, is going to be one of those great, you know, those, it, a, a, <laughs> somehow the moth is a metaphor, I'd the caveman. Be a blind moth. No, but there's no I'm metaphor doing, in that. He really does mean he'd, he'd rather, rather be, be a blind, blind moth. moth. Yeah, well, I'm just because I've looked at the day's news. <laughs> Are you getting into poetry now, properly? I really like it, yeah. Right, I did two <laughs> about jellyfish. Excellent. Uh, I don't like jellyfish. They're not a fish, they're just a blob. They don't have eyes, fins or scales like a cod. <laughs> they float about blind, stinging people in the seas. And no one eats jellyfish with chips and mushy peas. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's just a shorter one I did about a jellyfish. Um, it would be spiteful to put jellyfish in a trifle. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it certainly would. Uh, so. <laughs> That's great. That's really good because it's jelly. He's 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 done us there, Steve. Yeah, 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 That's yeah. a really good poem. Can we always do that, Carl? Can we always find a day, right, and always sum it up in your in thoughts a poem. a poem, just like that? It would be spiteful 
to put jellyfish in a trifle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> this nigga had like three palms. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, man. This nigga is. <laughs> I'd rather be a blind moth. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. He said it like it was a metaphor. <laughs> like he said it like it was meant to rhyme. It's supposed to be. He said it like it was going to rhyme. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, shit. Okay, Carl. Uh, uh, I learned so many rocks about. <laughs> uh, he did spend a lot of time with insects, though. Yeah, man. <laughs> he said, had a lot of stories about insects. The bee, <laughs> the moth, he caught in a cup. <laughs> Definitely, man. A lot of these episodes have been about insects and bugs. A lot of Yeah, them, you man. see what interests Carl. That's yeah. what nature. Nature. Yeah, nature. Yeah. And poetry. Yeah, poetry now. See, he's a, Carl's a poet now. Yeah, man. Carl is a poet. <laughs> Fucking human eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if a fucking um, if octopus uh, did have human eyes, it would be easier to look at anything uh, that had definitely. human eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Exactly. Yeah, the jellyfish, like, yeah, it's just like, why is it floating? The, like, it's just, it's just weird there with no eyes. Fucking sting the hell out of you. And <laughs> Yeah, that's probably why you can't look a lot of animals in the eye, man. You know what I mean? That's what they say not to. Yeah, don't look a dog like, you know, a vicious dog in the eye. They're aggressive animals. Gorilla. Don't look a gorilla in the eye. If you're out there, a gorilla. (laughs) In the wilderness with gorillas. (laughs) Shit. Don't look a nigga in the eye in prison. (laughs) Just don't look niggas in the eye. (laughs) 